Hi everyone. Today we're going to start a series on getting started with Expression Engine. We're going to create a site from scratch, including installation, making our channels, setting up our field groups, adding files, uh, exploring add-ons, everything that we could possibly do with Expression Engine. So let's build. So the first thing we want to do is take a look at what it takes to run Expression Engine. Uh, I'm going to be setting this up locally on my machine, which is a Linux machine. Your installation process may look a little bit differently uh, depending on what you're running. Um, but overall, all of the steps are defined in the documentation. So let's take a look. So Expression Engine is a PHP based content management system. So we want to make sure that we're running at least PHP 7 in order to get it up and moving. We also want to make sure we have a database behind it. So we're running MySQL, MariaDB, or Percona with it. If you have questions regarding your server availability, uh, there is a fantastic compatibility wizard that you can download uh, that is available to you. And you can just pull that in, run that on your server, and it'll give you all the information that you possibly need. So with that, let's actually take a look at the installation process. Installing Expression Engine is pretty simple. First thing we want to do is prepare our database. And so I'm going to go here into my database setup and I'm just going to create new database. We're going to call this learn EE. I'll hit OK. And let's go take a look at our database. So right now we just got a blank slate. Uh, nothing exciting in there because we haven't actually done anything. So, but I'm going to fix that right now. So let us actually install Expression Engine. So we're going to go to expressionengine.com and we can click that download now button. That will give you all the files you need. We're going to be taking a look at EE6. So I'm actually going to be uh, downloading the beta of that. Uh, by the time this will be released, it'll probably be out, but for our purposes, Let's use the beta and we've got our files. We're going to extract these into my sites directory. I'm going to call this learn EE and hit extract, right? And can show the files. All right. So let me get this up so you can see. open this in my text editor and let's actually take a look at the file structure here. So EE has a couple things out of the box, a couple things to be aware of. So first our index PHP file, this is our home file that the public web server will hit for front end users. Um, you can see it defines our system path as well as a couple other variables and then uh, boots right into the core of expression engine. Our admin.php file, which does the same thing, however, it's on the back end side of things. So for the administrators, uh, content editors, that kind of thing. And then our system folder here is where a lot of the magic takes place. So the system slash EE folder is where the core of Expression Engine lives. For all intents and purposes, we probably won't be touching that at all, but it's a great place if you want to take a look at. Um, how Expression Engine is running under the hood. It's a great place to start. And then our user folders where we'll be doing most of our work. So this has our system user folder, uh, has our add-ons where we'll be adding add-ons later on. Our config folder, which uh, runs all of our configuration files. Uh, right now this is blank because we haven't actually installed Expression Engine, uh, but that will be changing shortly. Our language folder for multi-language support and our templates folder, which is also empty, but that's where all of the front end magic takes place. So with that, let's actually take a look at our web browser. And I have this right now pointing to uh, learn-ee.test. And so when I go there on the front end, I can see it uh, just tells me your config file does not be, uh, appear to be formatted correctly. That at least tells me that it's pointing to the right place. but in order to install, I'm going to go to learn-ee.test slash admin.php. 
and I am welcomed by the new Expression Engine installation screen. And here I will set up my database server address. Like I said, I'm running this locally on my machine. Um, so for my purposes, this will remain localhost. My DB name we already said was learn underscore EE. Uh, because I'm doing this locally, I'm going to use my root user and root password. I would greatly encourage you, if you're running this on a server that has public access, create a very strong uh, database user um, with a much different user name and a very strong password. We're not going to be installing the default theme, but that is an option for you if you want something that works out of the box. And then, whoops, we're going to add in my user, I'm going to call him Doug, and we're going to give him a password of password. Again, don't do that if you're running this on a live server. And then I click install. And you can see not a lot of fanfare, not a lot happening. But if we look under the hood, let's actually take a look at our config file again. We can see that it's added our app version, it's created some encryption keys, and then it's added our database information there. And then if we also look at our database file, there we are, we can see a whole lot of information has been added to the database. So now if I log in with my username of Doug and my password of password, I am welcome to the Expression Engine dashboard. So, and let's actually take a look around while we're here too. So we have over on the left, uh, we have all of our basic navigation that we can use. Uh, we'll explore that a little bit more in a minute. But we also have the Expression Engine jump menu so we can create different uh, entries. We can access our settings real quick too. And we can explore around. So let's actually do that. Let's take a look at our settings. We're going to edit our general settings. Now all of these settings can also be managed in the config file here. So if you, in the documentation, oops, let me actually go to the doc, there we go. If I go to config overrides, it gives you a full list of these variables that can be defined in your config file so that you can set these uh, in code rather than set them in the database. However, for our purposes, we're gonna set the, some of these things here. And the settings are pretty robust. Um, you can set up, you know, your general settings, some URL path and template settings, outgoing email, uh, if you're sending email from your site, uh, some template management and manage, uh, menu management, as well as some security and privacy settings. So I encourage you to take a full look through here uh, so you can kind of see what's happening. But for our purposes, we're gonna say our new EE site is going to be our name that's going to replace that up here. We're going to say that we want the short name to stay the same. Our website's going to remain online. If you wanted to take it offline so it's only accessible to super admin users who are, you, who are logged in, you could do that. Um, and then there are a number of other uh, settings that we can set here. But let's set that. When we click Save, we can see our new EE site up here in the top left-hand corner has been set. We can also take a look at the URL and path settings here. Uh, all of these are set uh, automatically, which is kind of nice. Um, but if you needed to change these for your server setup, you could set these here. And it uses, makes use of Expression Engine global variables, base URL and base path. So if you wanted to set these dynamically, you could. So with that, we have our Expression Engine site set up. Let's actually take a look again at the front end. And we have a white screen because we have no content yet, but this white screen means that at least we're installed. So in our next video, we're going to take a look and see what it looks like to actually set up our first channel and go from there. So we'll see you in the next one.